Hey guys, my name is Richard Green and welcome to the show. If you didn't watch my intro video, this is the show where I talk about news and interesting things that happened in the past week. Now, I'm still trying to get everything set up here. I haven't found my microphone yet. I'm still dealing with my camera stuff. So for now, I have to film this on my Mac. Uh, it's dust on it. Alright guys, it started yesterday when President Obama visited West Virginia to discuss the prescription drug overdose problem in America. One of the facts that he stated was that 120 Americans die from prescription drug overdose every day in America. That's more uh, deaths than from car crashes. So thank you, Obama, for finally pointing out one of the biggest issues in America. Next up, the Mets had an awesome game last night, 8-3 to against the Cubs. When I got home last night, I turned on the game. It was top of the second inning, and they were already up by four. Last night, Daniel Murphy broke a world record when he hit a two-run homer in the eighth inning, which means it was Murphy's seventh home run of this postseason, which also means he is some type of baseball god. Now, let's talk about last week in TV. A whole bunch of stuff on last week, including new episodes of Grindr and Grandfathered. But also, last Saturday, Amy Schumer took over HBO with her new special, Amy Schumer, Live at the Apollo. Then, the next morning, I was delighted to see Anthony Lesnick's new special, Thoughts and Prayers, on Netflix. If you like dark humor, he's the perfect comedian for you. If you're sensitive, he's definitely not. But let's talk about Amy Schumer again for a second because there's been a bit of a controversy going on between her and Boston comedian Patrice O'Neill. Uh, she was accused of stealing Patrice's jokes. But there's a video comparison online if you want to check that out for yourself. I'll put in the description down below if I can find it again. Hopefully I can. It's out there somewhere. But when I do find it, it'll be down there. Click it, watch it, tell me what you think. Our final story is YouTube Red. Now, YouTube Red is a service that allows users to watch their favorite content creators without ads and giving you the ability to save and watch videos offline for $9.99 a month. It's about the same price as Netflix. I don't know if they're trying to get into that type of game, like with a subscription service. Maybe they'll turn into some sort of a Netflix type thing. But anyway, more info about that and everything else I talked about today is in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching my first show, and I'll see you guys next week.